But that's the way I feel But hold up Hold up But that's the way I feel What you know about being stuck in one place with no movement Yo, it's a Friday Your boy Kendrick Levine is back And I'm rocking with y'all early Let me give you this juice early Because I am headed back to the bed It's a self-care Saturday On the 28th of December Tell y'all what we talking about today. The call to action I've already given you. Self-care Saturday. I don't tell y'all that enough because I'm always up trying to bounce around in front of you and let you know what the hell I'm up to and tell you a few things and share the gratitude journal and all that kind of good stuff. But telling you now, self-care Saturday. You need to not just slow down. Take care of yourself this Saturday. It's more than just reading books and taking long baths and lighting candles. It's more than that. You can go for a walk and exercise. You can eat a proper, healthy meal. You can do some spiritual self-care, man, and call up a friend. Pray. I know there's some prayer warriors in here, but there are all type of ways that you can take care of yourself physically, mentally, and spiritually. And on Saturdays is when you need to do whatever you can to take care of that. I'm good at slowing down on Sundays. I'm not the best at actually taking care of myself on Saturdays. In my head, I'm always thinking, man, I eat right. I, I, I do good. I'm drinking water all the time. So I'm always thinking, uh, I do self-care every single day. But there needs to be a time when you just stop. And for me, what I would do for my self-care today is I am actually going to watch a movie that I want to see. Maybe a little bit of magic, some action. I mean, I saw that Spider-Man last night. Oh my God, that was uh, that was mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. But that's my self-care. That's your call to action today. Self-care. The value I'm telling y'all is the old Dolly Parton quote. You can't change the wind, but... You can change your sales. That means stuff like this. I know damn well that I'm disabled now. I know damn well I can't even crawl anymore. And it's, it got to a point when I realized I'm fighting so hard to be able to walk and to hold on to walking and all of that. Let me just change everything else around the fact that I'm disabled. So I stopped trying to do all of these substitute teaching and get back into education. And instead, I changed my sales and I flipped into the Medicare telesales and everything. And now I'm about to flip into some web chat stuff. But more importantly, I am building the career, which is the whole life coach that won't require the walking, the legs, any of that. All I got to do is talk. That's how you change your sales. A lot of us are wasting time. You're burning energy because you want to change the direction of the wind so bad. You want the wind to stop blowing south and blow north. You need the wind to blow a little bit harder to push you there. Look, man, it's up to you. It is up to us to change the direction of the sails. Roll with the wind. I can't change the fact that I got this illness and I can't walk and all the different type of issues. But what I can do is create a lifestyle, a career. I can parent around the fact that I can't do those things. And that's how you get better, man. That is how you get better. That's where that gratitude journal comes in. At. But I'm not going to run y'all down with that. The goal today for me, I know it's a self-care Saturday. I know I'm going to watch a movie, but I still got goals today. And I know y'all know what I'm talking about. We got busy bees in here. My goal today, set up the business plan and the business pitch, not the business plan, the business pitch. Couldn't read my own handwriting. My gratitude today, number one, my daughter had a usual restroom issue during that Spider-Man movie last night. And it's just me, her, and my oldest son. So yes, I had to take her. Of course I took her. Hashtag thanks. But the gratitude in this is that I didn't miss much of the movie because it was early in it. And she got in and out fast and I heard her washing her hands. So shout out to her. We got right back. Number two, 
it looks like I'm going to be able to slide in a paycheck with this new with this new job. Next Friday, I should be able to get 14 hours in because I started working yesterday and it's the end of the pay period. That will help cover the cost of all these holiday activities. I got parents in here. Y'all know what I'm talking about. These holiday activities are goodness. Goodness. Number three, shout out to the small Greek salad. Yo, man, who would have thought it would have all that lettuce, everything in there? It filled me up and got it for that low, low price. So, let me show y'all my gratitude to prove I did my stuff. Y'all know I'm on it. You're in this because I want you to finish. You're in this because I want to bro with you. You're in this because in this group, you can hit me up for this life coaching. Hit me up for a one-on-one. -on -one. Every weekend or so, not every weekend or so, at least once a month, we're going to meet in here for different type of things. I'll teach a few things. We got the crash courses coming. Y'all be pretty. Stay grateful. I salute you. Self-Care Saturday. Peace. Got a swag quite like But hold up, hold up, that's the way I feel. But hold up, hold up, but that's the way.